Mm -hmm. uh, but we first want to start with the latest news out of Harvey Weinstein, the scandal. Camellia is all over this, and it just keeps getting deeper, deeper, and deeper. Yes, so uh, if you, in case you did not know, Harvey Weinstein, who is one of the biggest uh, producers in Hollywood, a part of the Weinstein Company behind uh, box office movies, Golden Globe, and Oscar-nominated films, and Oscar-winning films, uh, recently was, was uh, featured in a New York Times piece saying that he sexually assaulted, sexually violated, and raped a few, quite a few women in the business, whether they were actresses, um, assistants, associates of his. But now, Rose McGowan, who has been leading the charge on social mm -hmm. media, sure. um, speaking out against Harvey, came out the other day and, and declared that Harvey Weinstein raped her, that she was one of the people that accused Harvey of rape. And if you, uh, in case you haven't been following the chatter, she said a while ago in, a, in an interview some years back that an, a Hollywood executive raped me, no one ever knew, but mm. now she tweeted something to effect of, and she was tweeting at uh, Amazon chief Jeff Bezos. She said, I told the head of your studio that HW raped me. So, and then she said, um, over and over I said it, he said it hadn't been proven. I said I was the proof. Mm -hmm. So this is just a piece of everything we've been seeing and everything we've been hearing in regards to this uh, this situation. But it's getting super ugly, and it's it's and, and people are chiming in across the board. Jane Fonda chimed in. Tom Hanks has chimed in. Terry Crews said his piece about another Hollywood exec exec right. groping him at a Hollywood party mm -hmm. goes both ways. So this isn't the end of it at all. And the update that we're just getting to late yesterday is that the head of Amazon Studios, because now she's bringing Amazon into it, rightfully so, Roy Price, uh, he was put on leave of absence yesterday. So clearly this is starting to unfold. Multiple people are involved. He's been accused of inappropriately touching somebody before. Uh, Roy Price has. And so now this continues to unfold. And you have history of, of interviewing actresses who have basically been in the limelight of what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I mean, more and more is going to come out, and I've heard behind the scenes that this has been taking place specifically with him. I know, Camilla, you're down in L.A., and, and you mm -hmm. have probably heard this for years. Yeah. So it's some of it we thought was folklore or mm -hmm. you know, maybe overhyped, but I am not shocked at all. I was at a party one time where I saw Harvey Weinstein physically assault someone, and oh, he got well. away with it. It was brushed under the table. <gasps> so... It, it, I, is my opinion alone, I don't think this is a good human being that we're talking about. Okay. And I think everybody knows it, and I think justice will soon be served. Okay. Yeah. And again, people keep chiming in about it, whether you're on the side of Harvey or not. We had uh, earlier this week Donna Karen speaking out mm -hmm. at, a, at a red carpet event saying uh, maybe it's the women who should not be dressed a certain way. Um, maybe they should take some accountability. She later came out and said, oops, I misspoke, didn't mean that. Mm -hmm. Lindsay Lohan came out and said, hey, leave Harvey alone. He never did that to me. So, you know, people are on, <laughs> on, on both sides of this. Oh, but yeah. we have a lot of people now coming into the line of fire, like Ben that, Affleck. Right, and more on Ben in a moment, yeah. because that's a whole sidebar to this with Rose McGowan. But now the Producers Guild of America will be holding an emergency board meeting tomorrow they're discussing the response to the Weinstein allegations, and they also are, they, it says that a deadline claim that it's likely Weinstein will be expelled from the Guild, which previously honored the producer and his brother Bob with a pre prestigious Milestone Award. So now we're talking about all of the things that he's been recognized for, potentially getting revoked from some of those things. Um, all of the different organizations he's been associated with are now being looked into, like the Amazon situation, where now the head of that has been suspended temporarily at least. Um, but the Ben Affleck part of this is really interesting, and you were following that from Monday. So what is that all about? So apparently Ben Affleck, as soon as this happened, made a statement saying, you know, I, I side with the victims. Uh, if there's anything to do in Hollywood, we need to kind of get ahead of this so that this doesn't, this type of thing doesn't continue to happen. And I'm just paraphrasing. Rose McGowan then tweeted at Ben Affleck and said something to the effect of, you lied when I came out and said that something happened to me. You said, I told him, Harvey Weinstein, to mm -hmm. stop doing that, mm -hmm. which in, gave the impression that he knew Harvey was doing this before Yeesh. Rose spoke out. So then people were mm -hmm. giving, Ben Affleck got caught in the line of fire, and then they pulled up, dug up some old TRL footage of mm -hmm. him, uh, them talking about him grabbing the, the breast of one of the, the ex-hosts, Hillary Burton, Hillary Burton mm -hmm. of TRL. So, that happened in 2003. Yeah, in 2003. Mm -hmm. So now everybody 
It's, it's getting dirty. Well, and now uh, the Twitter thing happened. So if you're just waking up and you're somebody who uses Twitter a lot, you might have seen the hashtag women boycott Twitter. Um, that basically came out because in all of this, we wanted to give you this full backstory. Rose McGowan then tweeted the phone number of Lindsay Lowen's manager on Twitter. Um, and Lindsay Lohan came out earlier this week in defense of defending Harvey Weinstein, saying he'd never done that to me. All these people need to just be quiet. This isn't real. Um, this isn't happening. And so Lindsay Lohan came out in his defense. And so now Rose McGowan tweeted the manager's phone number. Twitter suspended her account, saying that she violated their policy of actually tweeting the phone number of somebody who was a personal phone number. And then Twitter, the boycott, all of that, women boycott Twitter became this huge thing overnight and a lot of people were basically siding with Rose McGowan saying I'm not going to go on the social media giant today. They have since reinstated her account so it's no longer suspended. Now I want to pose this question to the viewers because this is, especially now that they're talking about taking Harvey Weinstein's accolades away mm -hmm. and they're under review. We saw a similar thing with Bill Cosby. Yeah. Does this... Uh, as a, as a, a entertainment person, if you're at home, you watch movies, you watch television shows, do, do you feel like you cannot or you can separate the man from his talent or the work that he's done? Because cause with mm. this conversation, you have Harvey Weinstein, he was behind all these movies, Bill Cosby, Cosby Show was one of the, the most successful uh, TV shows of all time. Is the man his body of work. And with that said, mm. does that mean now going forward, we kind of have to dig into everybody's background because a lot of people's hands are dirty in other things. Right, mm -hmm. if, we're gonna, if we clean up the industry to that degree, we'll probably wipe half the catalog of every movie studio <laughs> off the planet. Right, um, they're so, all interconnected. <laughs> right, but I, but I know what you're saying. And fortunately, he's not the face of the product. Right. The actors and actresses are. So are you gonna look at the actors and actresses differently, especially the actresses? Well, and wondering and, what they did to get yeah, these roles. Right. Were they good enough? And I, I have heard the argument that, you know, there are people who will do anything to get a job. Uh, Walt was talking about that on the air the other day about, you know, this idea that maybe it was consensual. Maybe there was some sort of agreement on both parties. But now people are coming out to say, well, if she's calling it rape, then maybe it was also rape for me. And at the time, I felt like I needed to consent to get this big role. I mean, whatever, whatever the whole backstory is here, Regardless of what your opinion is of these women and whether or not they're coming out for their own purposes or their own reasons, this really, according to these women, happened. And in lieu of this happening, they were able to get a job. So that needed, that needed to be defined, that if they claimed that they did these sexual acts with Harvey Weinstein, whether or not it was rape or consensual, that they got a job out of it, that is the, the climate that we need to be addressing right now. Because they, the allegations are as late as, late as 2015, like sure. recently. And so if that is still something that's happening, that women or men are willing to do these things to get these roles, and as a result, they're getting the roles, and then they're getting paid out to be quiet about it, I mean, it's sad that that's still happening. Well, is, and is it even that they're willing? Do, do you go in sure. feeling like, I'm not going to work if I do not do this, and if I say no to him, will he then blacklist me or In make sure industry. that I cannot work? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because, again, when you, when you think about somebody like Harvey Weinstein or anybody with that kind of power, they got, like... It's a lot they of know power. Everyone. They know everybody. Mm -hmm. And even though you can now do things independently, you could try to get, you know, get grassroots campaigns, you could do a GoFundMe and start and, and fund a movie. But in a sense, there's still that stigma that if you piss off so and so, you're not going to work. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then what, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. You're stuck. And I would say there used to be a time in Hollywood where this was the norm, where, I mean, you, you probably could throw a rock and hit somebody that was involved in this type of scandal. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like it's, it's gotten a little bit better, but certainly not eliminated altogether. And that's yeah. why this is such a scandal. How do you see this playing out? I think it's going to go to trial. They, they think we barely scratched the surface of what this man has done. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all going to start to come to light. Innocent until proven guilty, but I think you're going to start to see a lot of proof. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll continue to monitor what's happening. Um, I know a lot of you are commenting right now. Uh, let's see. Janet Piper says this whole thing just disgusts me, period. I think a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. So. Okay, shall we move on to the next story? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to go take a call. I got a surprise coming. Oh, up okay. Oh. You go take your call. I'll be right back. Okay, surprise right. for you guys too, not for you. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so, 